difference between being pre-qualified and pre-approved, and why does it matter? There are a lot of lending institutions that will have a conversation with you, ask some basic information, and then quote you an amount that they say you're qualified for and an interest rate they would offer you. Be careful. I cannot stress this enough, and honestly, this is probably my biggest pet peeve in our industry right now and leaves countless home buyers in frustrating situation where they're in escrow, they're not being given what they're promised verbally. Being pre-qualified gives you a ballpark estimate of your buying power and is based on summary information you give your lender on your income and your assets. The problem is, this is not accurate enough, which puts you as a buyer in a gray zone. When you're buying a home, you want to be certain you have everything just so to avoid surprises that could put you at risk of loss. Once you were to get your offer accepted, that same lender will ask you for a laundry list of items you need to provide to make sure that what they estimated will actually work. You may find at this time that the rate will be different or that maybe you don't quite qualify for as much as they thought. Pre-approval provides proof to real estate agents and sellers that you're pre-approved for a specific loan amount. The lender will run your credit and verify the income and assets you talked about with the documentation you provide. The lender puts your information into a system called DU, or Desktop Underwriting. Now DU is a good starting guide. If the numbers a loan officer puts in are accurate, then it's great. But in my opinion, a true pre-approval is not complete until your file has gone in front of an underwriter. The underwriter verifies that everything put into DU is accurate based on the written verification like your tax returns, bank statements, your pay stubs, or profit and loss statements. The absolute best position you can be in before home hunting is to have your file go in front of an underwriter and they approve it with conditions. At that point, you know for certain what you're qualified for, and in really competitive multiple offer situations, you have a strong advantage over most other buyers. My best advice to you, find a lender who collects all of your documentation up front and gets it in front of an underwriter even before you start shopping. That will be a huge protection for you, a strong tool in negotiations, and offer more solid rate and terms information because the lender will have the full picture of your financial situation. Do you have a question about buying or selling a home? Please like this video and leave a comment with that burning question you have so I can answer it for you. I'm Katherine Materiali. Thank you for joining me in Becoming Homewise. See you next week.